Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm down at Hendrick Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Concord and today we're going to take a look at their 2022 Genesis G70. So huge shout out to them for providing this vehicle for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. They have a ton of brand new and pre-owned inventory. That link is down in the description below. But the Genesis that you see behind me is finished off in Saville Silver with a list price just over $48,000. And to start off today's review, we're going to take a look at what powers this G70. Underneath the hood is the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 paired to the eight speed automatic transmission. It pumps out 365 horsepower around 6,000 RPM and 376 pound feet of torque as low as 1300 RPM. That power is sent to all four wheels. It weighs in right around 3,800 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in four and a half seconds up to its top speed of 155 miles an hour. And it has a fuel capacity of 15.8 gallons. You'll expect to see around 17 miles per gallon in the city and 25 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 111.6 inches. Its overall length is 42.6. It has a width of 72.8 and a height of 55.1 inches. As we move on to the exterior styling now for this G70, let's start off with the grille because it has a very unique design compared to any other vehicle out there. It has a really nice design with all of the mesh as well as the point in the lower section of the grille. Chrome is around the entire surround and then right in the middle is a forward facing sensor. It's nicely incorporated into the grille and blends in nicely. So from a distance, it's very hard to see. The Genesis badge is just above that. And then there's also plenty of cutouts in the lower section of the grille to provide even more cooling and better aerodynamics. And then for the headlight design, it has a really nice split design with bodywork running right through the middle. This has LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals, and it just gives it a really unique design along with the rest of the contoured lines running in the lower section of the bumper. And then there's really nice lines running down the hood. They actually go from the A pillar to the center of the hood and then straight down to the Genesis badge. So it gives it a really nice design and it's even as wide as that Genesis badge as well. There's a few other lines just above the fender arches too. And then as we move on to the side profile now, this model has a really nice set of 19 inch wheels finished off in silver with the two-tone design and a multi-spoke pattern. There's even a functional trim piece just behind that and even more lines running down the side just underneath that trim piece. It runs in the lower side skirt. There's also one at the height of the door handles. This has body colored side mirrors with the integrated turn signal and there's also chrome trim on the lower section of the mirror and it blends in nicely with the entire window trim and then making our way to the rear end now this has a backup camera with genesis spelled out right in the middle of the trunk this also has the trunk release nicely incorporated just above that camera it does have led taillights and they have more of that bodywork running right through the middle to match nicely with the front end design and then in the lower section, there's a few fins in that diffuser, as well as the oval style to the dual exhaust. So with the exterior wrapped up for this Genesis G70, let's move on to the cargo space now. So you can use that button that I mentioned earlier, or you can just hold the button on the key fob and it will automatically open up, revealing a good amount of storage. So on both sides, there's a little bit of a cutout so you can put an item sideways if needed. There's also a net over on that passenger side. And then up underneath the floor, we have the spare tire as well as all of those tool kits and a little bit of storage on both sides if you need to use that. And these back seats also fold down as well. So with them folded down, gives you a lot more interior storage, making this a very practical sedan. There's also tie down hooks. So that way you can safely secure any items that you may have. And there is one grab handle over on that passenger side with a light trunk lid, it is very easy to close. And now we can move on to the back seats. And opening up this door, the door panel has a really nice design. There's leather on the armrest, brushed aluminum trim just above that with perforated leather underneath it. Really cool trim accents surrounding the release handle. There's the window control finish off in brushed aluminum and a little bit of storage in the lower section of the door, as well as Genesis being spelled out on the door sill. And then moving on to these seats, they have a really nice design with the black leather and the insert running down them. All the silver stitching is a great contrast. And now it's time to hop in. At five foot 10, there's a little bit of room for my legs. I do have the front seat set at my height, so I have plenty of room. There's also a storage net behind both front seats. And then as far as headroom, my head is almost up against the headliner, but it is a comfortable position to be in. I could definitely be in this back seat for a long period of time. 
Right in the middle, if I pull this down, this is the armrest as well as having two cup holders with a nice trim piece surrounding those cup holders. Right in the middle, there's also two air vents along with a USB if you need to charge any electronics. And one thing that is really convenient to have, these buttons on the side will actually move the seat forwards or backwards. It will even adjust the backrest as well. It was very helpful when I was back here folding this back seat down. So just by pulling on that tab, I can fold the seat down and I was able to move the seat without going all the way around in order to do that. So that is a really cool feature to have. And then down in the lower section, there is a little bit of a bulge for your center passenger but it's not too obstructive and we'll take a look at visibility for your backseat passengers very thin pillar so definitely provides a lot of light for your backseat passengers and then before we make our way to the front seats this model does have remote start so with the key fob all I need to do is lock it and then hold on this button and it will automatically start up Really cool feature to have. If I hold on this button, I can shut it off for whatever reason. And as you can tell, the power folding side mirrors have folded in. When I unlock it, they'll fold back out. I can use the door handle, of course, to lock and unlock this. And then the door panel looks exactly like the rear. There's the addition of all of the window controls, the side mirror adjustments, you can fold them in. This even has memory seating adjustments as well. And a little bit more storage in the lower section of that door. And then the seats are the same, really nice design. There's even some brushed aluminum for the front seats, more of that stitching, even some piping. And this is a low car. The door sill is very narrow as well, so it does make it easy to enter and exit. And looking at the steering wheel, it's covered in perforated and solid leather with some gray stitching running along the inside. And then there's even more brushed aluminum on the lower section. Over on the left side is volume and tuning for the radio, as well as Bluetooth and voice commands. There's even a favorites button as well. On the right side, there's a button here for the center gauge cluster, as well as the cruise adaptive cruise control, even the steering assist as well. But let's fire this back up. With my foot on the brake, that button is over on the right side, and we can bring this to life. And looking at this gauge cluster, on the left side is the miles per hour as well as the fuel gauge. On the right side is the tack. And then right in the middle, there's a lot more info to go through using those buttons that I just showed. So currently it's showing the drive information. If I scroll down, there's some trip information as well as the miles per hour, your attention level as well. So it will tell you when the last time you took a break. If you're on a long trip, it will also tell you when it's time to pull over and take a break. You can monitor your TPMS as well as engine temperature and a few other vitals just depending on what you'd like to see. Now if I scroll on the pages button, we can look at the adaptive cruise and then we can also look at the compass and then we're back to all that information that I just went through. So not a whole lot of information, but it's really nice to have that front and center. This even has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Those are finished off in brushed aluminum, matches nicely. The trim even goes all the way around, which is great to see. Over on this left side is the fuel cap and the trunk release, as well as a dimmer switch for the gauges. There's one air vent, even more stitching covering the entire dash. And then right in the middle is the 10.3 inch touchscreen system. You can also use all these buttons down below. So these are all presets to the map and navigation. You can quickly get to the radio if you'd like to, more of the media. There's even that favorites button that you can customize. Same with the one that was over on the steering wheel, which is great to see. And then using this as a touchscreen system, you can go through all these icons, look at your phone, pair your phone to the system, go through sounds of nature, which is a greeting. As you can hear, just depending on what you'd like to hear, you can go into setup, valet mode if needed. And then we have this home screen here where it will show you the weather on one side along with the navigation and the time on the other. Underneath that are two air vents with the hazards right in the middle. Power and volume for the radio is on the left side. Tuning is over on that right side. And I love how these buttons have that brushed aluminum on the lower section. Ties in that trim piece very nicely running across. Underneath that is all the climate controls nicely laid out with the heated steering wheel and heated seat controls right in the middle. Temperature is on this left side, fan speed is right in the middle, and then we have temperature for your passenger as this does have dual zone. The defroster buttons are nicely incorporated underneath those buttons with a floating design. So it's really cool how that's all incorporated and works really nicely. Underneath that are two USBs along with a 12 volt and a good amount of storage. You could place your phone or other items like that. I love this wraparound stitching and leather coming all the way to the shifter down in the lower section with even more brushed aluminum. And then talking about this leather wrap shifter, the release is on this left side. If I push this forwards, that is actually for reverse. 
where you'll see the backup camera on the left side, the navigation is still over on that right side, and there's a few different angles just depending on the visibility that you need. You can go into these settings as well to configure all of that as needed. If I go all the way back, that is for drive, and then park is pushing on that button right there. Very easy to go through that system. Behind that, we have the different drive modes. So by using this toggle, there's Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Custom Mode, just depending on how you'd like to drive this. Behind that is traction control as well as the auto hold. And then there's a shortcut to the camera system. So what I just showed, obviously. The electronic parking brake is just behind that. And then making our way to the center console, there's a good amount of storage along with a USB if you need to use it. And then looking at the glove box storage, ample amount of room for all that information. We'll take one last look at this interior. Really nice design with all the black leather. And then up in the center, there is a sunglass holder, which is really convenient. The dome lights are on both sides. And then there's a few garage door buttons and call buttons in the rear view mirror. All right, so getting behind the wheel of this 2022 Genesis G70, I have always wanted to check out and review this car because I've seen a lot of Genesis models out on the road, but I've never actually been up close and been able to drive one and really check it out. And so far, I think this is a really cool vehicle. Now, if you're not familiar with Genesis, this is a brand off of Hyundai. Hyundai used to actually make a Hyundai Genesis, and then they did away with that model and came out with the Genesis brand having a little bit more luxury side compared to the Hyundai models. Even though Hyundai has a really nice uh, lineup of cars, the Genesis is kind of that next level, just a little bit more premium feeling, a little bit more stylish. And with this Genesis, there's no exception. This is a really cool model. I love this interior. Very nice materials all around with all the leather, all the brushed aluminum. It does remind me of a Hyundai or a Kia in a sense, with the center screen, all this information and technology. So it's really easy to go through all of that, which is great to see, but nothing looks like it was pulled from another car in a sense. We have all the brushed aluminum for the window controls. It's for all the materials in the center here. So it gives it a really cool look. Now, what I really wanna test out is we'll put it into Sport Plus. Wow. <laughs> Just a mild acceleration. This car is broken in, so it has some miles on it, but uh, that was quick. We'll have to do that again. So far, these paddles seem very responsive. It'll put you back in your seat there a little bit. This is a quick car with that twin turbo V6 engine. It's really healthy. I love the fact that for a new model from Hyundai having the Genesis, that it's actually a pretty good performance vehicle. And we have that all wheel drive system. So in inclement weather, like it is right now, we're going to have plenty of grip, especially coming around this turn, just at a normal rate of speed. But I could definitely see this being kind of a sports car in a sense. It's a sporty sedan that's kind of understated a little bit. Coming from the Hyundai brand, I know that people do uh, they still think that Hyundais are 10 years ago. They're that old model that uh, is just, it's an old Hyundai. This is a Genesis. Hyundai has come a long way with their models and uh, they, are, they are making some pretty awesome vehicles. To me, this is kind of similar to the Kia Stinger. I've had a lot of seat time behind the wheel of a Kia Stinger. We actually had one for a little bit as well. And so it reminds me of that, just being the Genesis brand. And so now as we switch over to the POV angle, let's take a quick look at visibility from the driver's seat. That pillar, like I mentioned, is very thin. So I can glance over that right shoulder. I can look over my left shoulder and easily see. So visibility is very open feeling. Woo! And a mild acceleration. This is a quick car. It's very impressive to see that. I love how it's been driving in sport mode. If I dial it back into comfort mode, we'll see how the performance feels from third gear. Still quick, but we'll pop it back into a sport plus. I love this interior. I love the fact too that we have a lot of luxury features like the adaptive cruise. It's the full range. We also have the steering assist and you can see that in the center gauge cluster when you activate it. If I also turn on, oh, 
you cannot be in sport mode for the cruise control to work. I forgot about that, or at least the adaptive cruise with the full radar so we can see the distance pacing right now. I learned that when I was in the Kia, very similar aspect to it. There's no cars in front of me, but it's a great system. And we'll give it one last acceleration for today's video. Definitely a sweet car. What do you guys think of the Genesis model? Like I said earlier, I've seen a few of these out on the road. I don't think they're quite as popular yet or gaining that popularity, but it's always nice to see them out on the road. A lot of these models just don't look like any other models that are out on the road. So every time I see one, I get excited because they look very, very nice. I love, I just love the look of them, the unique factor of the Genesis. It's a really cool brand with all of their models and I hope I get to check out a few more of what they have to offer. But once again, huge shout out to Hendrick Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Concord for providing this Genesis for me today. Make sure you check out their website. All that info is down in the description. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.